esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am Song Eun Ha from Korea. It's an honor to be invited to this meaningful event in Russia. Unfortunately, I am unable to attend this event in person due to the Corona-19 crisis. So I am delivering the pre presentation through video. Taking this opportunity, I'd like to share my experience in cross-border paper trade facilitation. Currently, I'm working for a company called Korea Trade Network or KTNet. KTNet's paper trade services cover the whole procedure of international trade from contract, licensing, certification, financing, customs clearance, logistics, to cross-border transactions. Last year, KTNet handled over 3 million transactions with the provision of over 600 types of electronic documents. Many of paperless trade services of KTNet are supported by robust Korean laws like E-Trade Facilitation Act, Customs Act, and Electronic Transaction Act. And all the transactions of KTNet services are not discriminated against any paper requirement because of this kind of legal framework. And now, the paper trade services is evolving into cross-border paper trade services. Cross-border paper trade means trade taking place on the basis of electronic communications, exchanging trade-related data and documents across the borders in electronic forms. KTNet is working with PAA or Pan-Asian E-Commerce Alliance to realize a cross-border paperless trade services. PAA is an alliance of paperless trade service providers in Asia. Currently, PAA is comprised of 12 members from 12 economies. PAA members are authorized by respective governments for electronic trade declaration and permit and providing B2B and B2G local and cross-border electronic messaging services on the supply chain, logistics, and financial transactions. KTNet's cross-border paper trade services cover three major areas as below. Global Electronic Supply Chain Management Service, Cross-Border Electronic Certificate of Origin Service, and Advanced Manifest Service. In our global ESCM services, customers can connect to any partners in overseas and exchange electronic data and documents. As a result, all of our customers' supply chain process in our global ESCM system works without paper. However, there is a big challenge in our global ESCM service. That is the issue of recognition of electronic data and documents from a foreign domain. When our customer receives electric messages from overseas partners, Korean government can't recognize such electric messages due to lack of legal framework. Because of this problem, our customers have to receive paper documents for administration purpose as well, and they are complaining to KTNet. Even with the PAA's mutual recognition of PKI agreement, it is not valid in Korean administration. I believe that the recent UN treaty, the framework agreement on the facilitation of cross-border paper trade, is one of the solutions that we have been looking for. Russian e-commerce community would understand the issue that I am facing with my global ESCM service, and I hope we share the same idea how to address this mutual recognition of cross-border paper trade services. Thank you for listening to my presentation and hope to hear from you. Thank you very much.